what? We dropping our word against the South, all right? This, the South most likely gonna burn your ass up. All right, all you Southern lands, the South Forest, yeah, you get the South, all right? This, the South most likely gonna burn your ass up. All right, all you Southern lands, the South Forest, yeah, you know what the time it is. Get ready, so cow. You gonna burn your happy ass up. Yeah, you think you saw some shit last year. Bless the most high. Uh, whatever, uh, 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 strange fruit hanging from the tree, yeah, that sort of shit, that's right, y'all would burn us, man, y'all burned us alive, fuck you, man, you little bitch, yeah, that's right, Babylon is falling, you goddamn heathen, yeah, that's right, yeah, try all you made, you little bitch, you a pussy, gomer, you little faggot, but guess what? You gonna lie down in them goddamn sparks that you killed it, you son of a bitch. And that's why we dropping our word against the South, all right? The, the South most likely gonna burn your ass up. All right, all you Southern lands, the South Forest, yeah, you know what the time it is. Watch Oklahoma is in a state of emergency as firefighters work endlessly to battle raging wildfires. At least two people have died in the fires over the past week, and the flames aren't expected to die down anytime soon. 50 mile per hour wind gusts could continue to ignite the dry lands and fuel the existing fires. In western Oklahoma, there's been no significant rainfall in more than 150 days. Some analysts say the increase in the number and severity of wildfires is in recent years is due to climate change. <laughs> climate change. <laughs> Breaking news as a fire destroys homes in Castle Rock. Strong winds have pushed the flames towards other homes. I'm Britton Marie joining us this afternoon. Our Rick is covering Colorado first and is in that neighborhood where families have lost their homes. Rick. This fire spread rapidly. It's believed that it started over here in the garage of this house. It went up very quickly in flames, and then the strong winds gusting out of the southeast blew it into the house right next door and almost completely destroyed that. This all began about 10 a.m. Firefighters were already busy at another place at the time, so the resources they sent here for this fire were contained in a different area. The first fire went to three alarms. This one almost completely destroyed two houses. It torched a third on the side on Foxtail Drive and did some damage to two houses on the next block. It has been a very busy morning for the firefighters. That's right. Our primary when we first got here was to get the people out of the way. A lot of heat, a lot of uh, wind, a lot of moving embers. And so we did have uh, our primary efforts on getting people evacuated and then trying to not only knock these fires out, but there were houses on the other block on the other side of the street that were also starting to burn that we had to protect. My daughter came home from school for lunch and called me panicking that the house was on, or the, right across the street, the house was on fire. And the first thing I asked her was like, which way is the wind blowing? Very good question.
question to ask. The wind kept the fire on the other side of the street, fortunately for those who live over on this side. As for what started this blaze, it is not known at the present time. Some neighbors told me that couples lived in each of the houses and each had propane tanks, although the fire chief said that could have helped spread the flames, but is unlikely to be related to the cause. Live in Castle Rock, Rick Samberger, covering Colorado first. As a fire destroys homes in Castle Rock, strong winds have pushed the flames towards other homes. Marino, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Rick Salinger is covering Colorado for and is in that neighborhood where an outbreak of wildfires has most of Oklahoma under a state of emergency tonight. High wind and severe drought are creating blowtorch conditions. At least one person has died. More than 200,000 acres have burned. 1,400 people have been forced from their homes. David Begno is there. Well, guys, we've got another house in the path of the fire. In V.C., Oklahoma tonight, wildfires are threatening the rural community of nearly 700 people, burning homes and killing cattle. They're shooting back into the wind. They can't reach the fire. In some places, the fire is spreading a mile every 8 to 12 hey, minutes. Hey, come here. Come here. Get out of there. That wind changed. Since yesterday, more than 200,000 acres have burned across rural areas of western Oklahoma. And all these power lines just saw three head of dead cattle. The largest fire burning is the Ray Fire in County. That fire is 28 miles long and 7 miles wide. There's a new tool Oklahoma firefighters have. It's called the GOES-16 satellite. It was launched last year. It's precise enough that forecasters at the National Weather Service are spotting small flames in rural areas before they are reported by people on the ground. It is a crucial tool that has alerted firefighters to 40 spot fires in the last 48 hours. 
there is a 61 year old man who died because of these fires. I asked the fire official, what is it going to take in order to gain some containment on these places? And he said a change in weather. And tonight, Jeff, it's the wind shifts, the weather's changing, and it's not so bad. Frightening conditions there, David Begno in Oklahoma. Thank you very much. as firefighters work endlessly to battle raging wildfires. At least two people have died in the fires over the past week, and the flames aren't expected to die down anytime soon. 50 mile per hour wind gusts continue. See that? <laughs> this this the earliest one I think I could find, April the 12th. So this is literally a handful of days, man. After we reminded you, Dropped it our word on the south, and oh yeah, he got he got a whole bunch of people from east, west, north, south, man. This just the Oklahoma fires because this is the most major. Matter of fact, let's get another prophecy out of there and wrap this up. Shall not be quenched. <laughs> Praise the most high. Line from Tokyo. We start with breaking news out of southwestern Japan. A volcano has erupted there, and a meteorological agency official is giving an update. We'll, we'll bring it to you with simultaneous translation. I would like to explain what happened with the eruption, and we have already uh, announced that at 3:39 p.m. today. Kirishima mountain range, Ebino Highland, Mount Iyoyama erupted and we raised the alert level from 2 to 3 on a scale of 5. And Kirishima mountain range, Ebino Highland, Mount Iyoyama erupted at 3.39 p.m. today and near the crater of the volcano we have confirmed that the cinders have fallen and there's a risk that the volcanic activity uh, will increase and 
at 12.55 p.m. today, we issued the crater area warning and we raised the alert level from 2 to level 3. And around in the area within 2 kilometers from the Mount Iwoyama, uh, there could be a volcanic rocks falling and there could be small cinders falling around the area rather than volcanic ashes. And we have already distributed materials to you and there is an eruption included and the content is the same as I have just announced in the Miyazaki prefecture, Ebino city. There is, there has been a crater area warning issued and because of the eruption occurred at 3.39, we have issued a quick report, the breaking news on the eruption and we have the leaflet already disputed and in the areas two kilometers within the uh, the crater the crater area warning has been issued and that's that concludes my explanation we have to see what could happen all right, as we've been reporting, a volcano in southwestern Japan has erupted. Japan's meteorological agency says there are restricting access to Mount Ioyama. The volcano erupted on Thursday afternoon. Meteorological agency officials are warning that large rocks could fly as far as two kilometers. Climbers have been advised to leave the area immediately. The volcano is in the Kirishima mountain range, which straddles the border between Miyazaki and Kagoshima prefectures. An NHK crew sent this video taken from a helicopter. I am filming this picture on a helicopter 10 kilometers away from the crater. I have filmed Mount Yoyama many times before, but this is the first time for me to see volcanic gas and smoke billowing from the crater with such great force. And there are several places where smoke is billowing out. This is the closest shot, closest possible a picture I can take from the helicopter. Praise the most high. Praise your name, Heavenly Father. Bless your name, King Yahweh. doesn't seem to be strong today. Bless your name, Spirit of Truth. And smoke is billowing up to the sky. Praise the Most High. The Japanese government says emergency plans are being put into action. We set up a crisis management center at the Prime Minister's office immediately after the eruption, and we are gathering information. We advise people in the area to stay up to date with information given by the self-defense forces, as well as the media. I don't care about both of them. I think you either. Praise you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for honoring your service, right. man. Uh, I just want to fuck with Japan because I ain't seen their ass in the time. That's right. Okay? <laughs> See how we picked on China, France, Germany? We picked on people, man. We picked on Massachusetts, Ohio, Oklahoma, Alabama. Praise the Most High. Hey, man, Most High say, hey, you say, I'll do it. That's right. Bless your, like that. Bless your name. Bless your name, King. Oh, thanks. The yeah, Messiah's name. That's right. That's the right. Messiah's name. Messiah. Right he was needed to testify me. Who will be king with me? Who's going to 
have to deal with the son of the most high. Let us stand together. You got beef with the gospel that deals with Israel being the kings and the rulers, and you heathens being the slaves and the subjects. You got beef with the Messiah. You got an accusation against him. Well, go approach him about it. Go contend with him about it. Don't fuck with the Lord Jesus about uh, your complaint. You got that mean? Go accuse him. Don't stand in his face with him. Don't stand, with him. Don't, don't stand together with him face to face. Let us stand together. Who is my adversary that um, talk good to me? See, the, uh, the Abishai, the Messiah said, man, we got peace. Come on. Come on down, you damn it. That's right. <laughs> All praise on high. Bless the most high for that testimony. That's right. And there'll be more to come by his grace and by our faith. That's right. <laughs> right. Salutations, Yeshua. Lift your head up for your redemption drunk. Nah. <laughs>